Now we're going to create some adaptive styles. Often we will want to create and maintain a number of like widgets which have some differences between adaptive views. By creating and maintaining styles for each adaptive view we can control this formatting centrally from the style editor. A good example of where we can apply this technique is menu items. So with our menu dynamic panel open in our base view we're going to open the widget style editor. We're going to add a new custom style, call it large menu item. We'll add another called medium menu item and one more called small menu item. We'll also add another style while we're here. We'll call this default panel. This is a generic style for background panels that we're going to create. First, the small menu item, we're going to set a font size of 14. We're going to align the text left. And we also need a little padding left, 5 pixels for the small view. For aesthetic's sake, we're going to remove the line style. We'll repeat much of what we just did for the medium menu item, but with a larger font size of 16. And 10 pixels left padding for medium. For the large view, we're going to want to change things up a little with the alignment to the center. The font size will set to 16 and we'll remove the line style. For the default panel, we're going to set a background color of an off gray and remove the line style. So these are all fairly arbitrary design decisions to give you a nice generic visual style. You can change this as you see fit. Next we'll apply our panel style to the menu background. Remember this will be inherited across all views because we're working in the base. And then we'll select our three menu items by control clicking. And whilst in the base view we will apply the small style. Moving to the medium view we will overrule this with our medium menu item style. And the same moving to the large view. And that is how we create adaptive styles and apply them. Uh, no point previewing yet as we can't see the small and medium menus until we've added the interaction to reveal it, which is coming up next.